Alright, hey there folks, this is Tim, and tonight I'm doing some exploration in Elite Dangerous, and uh, I'm actually continuing an expedition that I have been on, and well, let me get into the galaxy map and show you exactly where I'm going. Okay, so I should have actually been at that waypoint tonight, but uh, unfortunately I did not check how far apart these actually were. I thought it was going to be a much shorter run than it actually is. Um, so what I would like to get done tonight is to get to this waypoint tonight, which is uh, 2,686 light years, so it's not going to be a short journey. Um, as you can see I have a little bit of height to um, to get through as well as dist um, kind of straight line distance. Uh, I'm going to try to estimate maybe a third about there for this this navigation run. There we go. So that's a route plotted. You can see um, the stars are fairly well spaced at this elevation level. Um, so you can see it does have to go back and forth a little bit. Um, so, it's, it's a decent run though. Fuel scooping. I feel like I've entered a little bit of a darker region of space. Um, not seeing as many stars. Kind of when I'm jumping in. I wonder if I actually am. Uh, not hugely. I mean, th this is sort of a rift between two galactic arms, right? Like right here where it's darker. I mean, if I'm pointing that way, it might look a little bit darker. And it's also a little bit thinner. Like you can see, it gets darker coming in here too. Um. So yeah, this is almost kind of a little bridge through here, and it's darker on both sides, right where I am. Okay, let's have a quick look here. Star class, so... Look at that. Look how many of those Y-type stars are around me here. That's insane. Oh, wow. Okay. Yikes. I think... Got to be careful here try and get to the middle between the two with this next series. Let's go for the big yellow one. Alright. Yeah, I, I think that does explain why it felt dark. It, it's it's so weird to think that I could kind of feel it um, because of the way that the darkness had kind of crept in. Okay. It's weird. I, I, it's very rare for me to stumble up upon a neutron star. So this is the system, I think. Fuel scooping. So I'm just going to stop here. And while I select the right planet or moon, it is this one. So it's a long way away. Okay.
just you know at least seeing one other ship at every waypoint would be fantastic okay so I have coordinates on the moon that I need to be heading to Minus 47, minus 21 is the coordinates. And there's like an S-shaped canyon. Oh my god, there's a lot of S-shaped canyons on this moon. So I can't really see very well currently. Orbital flight engaged. So what do we got? Currently we are plus twenty nine and plus fifty eight. So that bottom number, if I can get that bottom number to minus 21. Now ah, we have a contact. There is another player behind me on the scanner that you should be able to see. see anything that actually matches that location. You know, I think... I think I might be heading in exactly the right direction right now. So 4712 is right there. And 2165 is what I'm looking for. Wrong way. white stuff on the ground is ice. When I get down there you'll be able to see it's actually shiny. So, uh, you, you can actually see that it's ice from just from the textures and things. Um, so yeah, this is an icy body. And here I am at the waypoint. So unfortunately I was a, a little bit late. I'm actually uh, 35 minutes late. <laughs> Um, and there was the one guy in orbit, which I've now accepted his friend request. So now I should actually be able to see, um, show friend markers. Okay. Uh, 
unless he just went offline, which he could have done. Yeah, he's probably offline now. Um, so basically now I have like like these blue tags. Whenever he goes somewhere and he's online at the same time as me, I'll be able to see where he is. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, we're at the waypoint. This is basically where I wanted to end the stream. So uh, quite happy to be here. Um, but yeah, you can see how annoying that actually was for me to land. Um, I'm quite tired, but I'm not going to blame it on that. I think it probably is me just not knowing which way to land and which way makes the numbers go up or down, or which part of the planet was actually the top and which was the bottom. So not knowing which way to turn to actually change anything. Um, but anyway, that was really good. I'm uh, very thankful for everybody who's been helpful getting me through this four hour stream in chat. Uh, usual guys who are all very helpful. Um, I'm actually going to quit the game right now and go to bed because it's 4 a.m. And uh, I've caught up with where I need to be. Um, if you want to follow or subscribe, I do dual stream on um, both Twitch and YouTube. So you can take your pick on the addresses that are on the left hand side. And um, I stream various things, uh, Star, C Star Citizen, Elite Dangerous, um, and I'm probably going to stream a few other things at some point. But those have been my go-to games for a, a little while. Um, and uh, thanks to Domaldel and um, who else is still in YouTube? Uh, probably Jerome is still here, so um, good night to those guys. Um, and uh, thanks for watching. Good night.